Get inside, get what we need. And this is this week's Closet Classic. Clancy, welcome to my kitchen. Well, I did want to make one whole program of for Passover and one whole program for Easter. But as you know, these programs show for two weeks and it all fell apart. So you're getting half and half. I chose the unusual recipes at least. Well, not so much for uh, Easter. The first thing we're going to do Passover. Pack. It's called pizza for kids. Very interesting. Got smart I had to break them up crazy because it didn't fit in this pan. Now, you take some spaghetti sauce. You know, I, this came from a, it was actually a really Jewish family. So, oh, that's what was in there. Oh, that's not sauce. The sauce is in the big one. Yeah? What <laughs> about it? <laughs> well, it's supposed to be sauce. Could you get me the big one, please? Why didn't you inspect this? Because I thought it was that. Uh, now, uh, first you're going to put some spaghetti sauce on the mat. Then, you know, they're very delicious. I was sitting there eating them. You can get every flavor if you want. Very nice. The other thing that's for the Passover is this most unusual salad. It is called white bean and artichoke salad. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see who sent these. Yep. Yep, they sent them right in. Don't. You don't have to worry. I'll give it right back I to you. I don't have anything to put it in, so... No, I mean, just give it to me and I'll give it right back. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll have a little Italian sauce. What else kind is this? Do you know any other kind? I'll spread it out after. Italian sauce. <laughs> and there's... It says... Yeah. guess sauce. Well, you know, everybody gets a little bit modern now, don't you think? No. Yeah. Because, so that's why I think they changed the recipes a little. So because you can make, you fill the fish out of pepperoni? Sure, why not? What? <laughs> I would. Remember, I, I would. It's very delicious, but I would. Now, I think that's enough of that. Here, you can have, I'll keep this, thanks. If there was a little, oh well, a little meatball. Hey, now, spread this out. On top of this, ooh, too bad we haven't got any kids to try this out. Well, you're just like a kid. You'll like Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all right. You got the mozzarella? I got everything. But that goes on last, I think. Oh no, yeah, it just says cover with. <laughs> Use your own head. Now, black olives. I forgot to tell you when you were slicing, so I had to do my own. You sliced them for the salad. I did that. They must like a lot of black olives because. I found in a lot of Jewish recipes. I don't know whether they were for Hanukkah or 
What? All of them. But they... They're gonna... They're gonna like it anyway. Oh, who's that pretty? I better get going instead of looking. Uh, now it says... Uh, a tomato sliced. Mmm, mmm, hardly anything to it. I've got the oven over here, and I'm going to put it on to moderate. Now, when you buy pizzas, the cheese is on top, isn't it? Yeah. No, I usually get it underneath. <laughs> well, you're getting it on top. <laughs> be glad. Be glad you got me now, at least. These tomatoes, everything you don't do it falls apart. That's all right. These are fresh tomatoes. That's one thing they said, you get fresh tomatoes. And, uh, it's funny, sauce and tomatoes. You're as fresh a tomato as there is. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what am I doing? You're getting me upset, oregano? Yeah. Well, I better not do that way. Oh, no. Well, it's, I don't, I don't think anything comes out that way. Did you fix that clock ever? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I hate to eat everything raw. Now the cheese. How could I possibly spill all that? Cheese. I see that you like it sliced, right? I like it just wanted to. Did I? Yes. I thought you were looking at the recipe. recipe I don't know says, if it says... Recipe says sliced. Well, there it is. Shredded, it says. Right there. Well, a little it's shredded. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> Might not cook the same way. Oh, oh, my. This is delightful. Isn't this delightful? Oh, dear. Now, you see, now this salad, what do you see with the this salad? Is, this is going to be a crispy crust. <laughs> it is? Oh, sure. The matzo? Oh, of course. It, and it is really going to be delicious crust. I mean, we might uh, hey, never we, send for another we, pizza. We may be, we may be on to something here. We, ooh, ooh, too bad we're so old. Here we go. Kind of keep your eye on the clock. You didn't put any oil on us. No, you don't need it. It didn't say to. Five minutes. Right. Ooh, I got it in. Hey. It's a miracle. Okay, I think I'll bring the stove over here. All right, next. We don't want to get... Uh, I should put that. I don't know. I better keep all the Passover together or I'll get mixed up. No. <laughs> you never believe this salad. It's called artichoke. Bean. Artichoke white bean. White bean. White bean, right. Salad. No. I'll put it in here. Oh, look, that little meatball was left. Oh, well. I'll just shove it over there. Uh, don't look at that. <laughs> right? Right. Now, you take the white beans. Uh, use canned artichokes and uh, said to quarter them. And these are the white beans and then mix together. Now, the thing of it was, you have to marinate this either for hours or overnight. But I wanted to show you what went into it. Okay, and now we've got that. Oh, the artichoke. Oh, that's right. It had to be in a can. Oh, yeah, canned artichokes, yeah. Uh, green peppers, black olives, and red onions. Is that measured? Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah, that's right. Wow. wow. Green peppers. Red onions. Yeah. You did a good job. Darn I'm going to have black olives. Yep. Oh, you did them nicely. But kind of, they look like, they look like mushrooms gone bad. Here we go. Now, where are you going, Art? Now, you'll this and it called for fresh parsley. I was glad because the last time I bought too much parsley. And here it is. And it called for Dried mince leaves. M mince. Mince leaves. And I put it on top of here. 
put it all in. Did you squash it all up? Well, pretty good. It won't stick in your teeth. Now, where are the flavorings here? Right there. Yeah, there. yeah, but I got something Not over bad. here. Look at what about the black pepper Basil. and the base? Yeah. But there's nothing well, in there. This way. I know, but I got one over here. You don't you get. You just don't get put much. What? I didn't even do it yet. <laughs> okay. You should. This is Jewish butter. They have all these Italian things in it. Now you mix it up. Nope. Do you? Yep. Now you put the oil and the vinegar. Yeah. Well, seeing you didn't measure it, I'll just put some. On. Right. Oh, called for wine vinegar, red wine vinegar. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh. <the> <laughs> <laughs> and a I have my own measurements. And how much of this? Put more of this, don't no, you? No. Yes, sir. Twice as much wine vinegar as oil. No, keep your soap. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, that's all right. You can put more of the other. All right. Now, you mix it all up. And you put it in. You just cover this. I'll put it in the covered bowl. And... The one that I made that he's going to eat was in there overnight. Oh, we haven't oh, even tested it. I can smell the pizza. Oh, the pizza. Oh, oh, it's not brown on top yet. I think it's supposed to be brown. They didn't see They didn't say that. Hey. Now, here it is already for them all, marinated and everything. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, how's that pizza doing? Pretty good. Now... We'll get to the other one. Now, everybody has their own thing for Easter. I used to have sometimes turkey, ham, what else, lasagna. There's always so many people came. And all three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the story. So, I mean, I know you all have these things, yeah. and you know what to do with them. So I decided to, what did I decide to do? Oh, yeah. Gonna... Buy that fancy kind of ham. I'm going to get it over here. And you take one slice off the next day after Easter. And I'm going to just fry it on both sides. Right? And a sauce. I made a special sauce. Oh, the stove. i got to get the stove going. How's the pizza? Why don't we put something on this? much. I can't imagine how it gets started with that so hard to put on. Now, on this ham, it's going to be, I, can, I know it's going to be delicious. Mary, the recipe's I, over there. I believe that plate's getting very hot on top of the stove. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a pot over there. Well, I don't know what I did. Oh, it's over there. Oh, yeah. Well, just throw me one. You please. didn't serve it to me, did you? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'm not going to put anything in this pan. And if it smells like it's burning, I'll put something in the pan for the... Uh, what am I doing? Oh, get in the hot plate. Yeah. Now what will I do with it? Give it to me. Well, can it stay over on this fancy table you made me? Oh, look at it. Look at it. You made me this fancy table. He makes all these nice fancy things so I don't forget anything. Oh. Now we're going to put the ham in there. How's that pizza? Well, there's plenty of mozzarella on there, I'll say. Yeah. It wasn't shredded. Okay. No, no. Hey, good peeing. We're going to let that. You could steam it. You could bake it. Even though it's already cooked when you buy it. You can do all those things. Oh, yeah, here's the pretty ham. Isn't it nice? Have you got a picture of that? It's so pretty. Have you got a picture of that? Shall I bring it over here? I got a picture of it. Where? Sideways? You didn't. It's sideways now. Oh, oh well, God, look at how nice it looks. I'll never be able to eat all that, Mary. Would you mind getting a picture of it? Yeah. You're going to be having it for a week. Good. Oh, that's pretty. And then if you turn it upside down. Oh, isn't that pretty? It looks like... like oh, I was just going to say. Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? 
So that, oh, the pizzas. Oh, I think maybe. Oh, it looks pretty good in there. I can't wait. Now, I made a sauce to go on this ham. And it's sort of like an orange sauce. Um, uh, it has orange juice, orange zest, lemon juice, honey. Yeah? Never mind that stuff. What else did I... Oh, I had to use your marmalade. But I didn't use it all. Orange marmalade. All right. oh, I didn't use it all. <laughs> <laughs> and um, something else. Oh, and raisins. Now, I added the raisins to it. Let's see. Oh, oh my. Why did that get like that? Because I did. Well, that's all right. I'll cover it with the sauce. You'll never know the difference. That looks like it is done. I better take it out. So, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, the mixed vegetables. Well, I thought the program would last too long, so I got him some. Teri These are teriyaki vegetables. Yeah. No, they aren't, are they? Yeah, teriyaki. Yeah. Might as well have everything in here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when the Chinese have it. Yeah, I have to wash you. Ham out of here. The ham? Yeah. Too bad, huh? Yeah, but I want the dish. Okay. Imagine that ham. It's doing it again. Well, it's all right. I think it's cooked enough. Oh, wait a minute. I'll let it stay in the pan until I get the pieces out. I'm shutting the gas off. Off, off, off. And this looks like such delicious sauce. I mean, <laughs> I don't even be like my granddaughter. My grandson, eight years old. I was playing games with him the other day, and of course he wins them all. And Barry, Barry, he was so serious, he said to me, you see, I don't want to brag, but the reason I win all the games is because I watch what my opponent is doing, and I be careful. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but these look pretty good. Uh, I don't want to brag, but I will anyway. <laughs> he was cute. But he... Oh, that looks good. I don't know whether that's brown or it's tomato, but it doesn't matter. You, Girl. I think maybe you were supposed to put it just on the rim. Oh. Why did you do that? What happened? No, the end of it came off. I think... Well, it only took, said, five minutes, so... Oh, I could put the meatball over there and you wouldn't know... Well, I'll put that like that. A pizza! Oh, that's for the heat. Look at the pizzas. Don't look at that pot where it fell off. Isn't that nice? Okay, ham. Ah, oh, the ham over here. Now, I have to get this stove out of your way. Watch out for the microphone. I'm watching it this time. Look at that ham. Yeah. In the middle of it, done to a T. Yeah. And then, before, I think I put the vegetables on first, and then the sauce. Oh, I... No, you will enjoy these vegetables. There's a little bit of everything. And you know, there was some sauce, too, but I like... I'm not going to give it to you. Oh, it's, oh, you can't see it. Oh, well, i got to get on the ball here. It's you hardly spilled uh, anything. Don't say it. Oh, you're getting me all nervous. Yeah, nervous, yeah. Oh, nervous. Oh, he really does. Probably my phone. Oh, he gets me so nervous. Oh, oh I want this to look right. Oh, yeah, it's getting late. Oh, now I'm going to put it there. And then what I'm going to do is put the sauce. It really does look rather nice. The sauce will cover up. Look at that. I think this, I don't think this is as sweet as it's going to be. Mm. You see those raisins? It makes the whole thing. I added those. There. You're getting them in, getting close-ups, good close-ups. <laughs> to invite them over. 
so he can enjoy all this delicious food. <laughs> oh, dear. Hope I see you the next time. I got all dressed up for the occasion because it smells so good. Well, why don't you start with the pizza? I don't now, know. Use the knife and fork in case I didn't make it the right way. This is very interesting. I can't wait. That one's crispier than the other one. You need a knife. All right. I don't know. You can pick it up in your fingers. I'm sure they don't. Everybody does. It goes. You know. It goes. Like a pizza. That's all? With all those things? It tastes like a, a wonderful pizza. A Passover pizza. Doesn't it taste like a Passover pizza? I wouldn't pass over this. Thank you. No, it's very so good. So nice of you. Very good. It, um, well, you great. That's a great way. Yes. And, you know, try to get unusual no. recipes that I don't usually hear of. Uh, Marge McDonald, you know, the coordinator of the COA, she was supposed to give me some recipe, her favorite. And all she said was she knows it had applesauce in it. So I made lots of applesauce, but I couldn't find any recipes for it. One and she it? was too... Uh, no, I'll get my lipstick ruined, thank you. So she was... That's a really good. nice pizza. Well, that's the way life goes, you see. No. And it was a good idea to put the cheese on top instead of underneath. <laughs> we always yeah. get it on top, don't we? I'm always sitting here just getting... Good. All right, now. What is it? Oh, if you, oh that's the ham. Oh, now, very good. Oh. you will have to taste that delicious... Uh, I guess it's delicious. Salad. Can you imagine it's been marinating all night? All night. I gotta, I gotta admit something. Admit it. The stuff that didn't fit in this bowl. Yeah. I ate it over there. And how was it? <clears throat> Terrific. Oh. Yeah. Then well, we can invite whoever we want. Watch my face. I didn't know that you would eat artichokes. And he's the one who found the recipes. Oh, it's nice, huh? Really nice? Yeah, yeah. Marinade. That's why you have to marinate so like there isn't any moisture that you can see in there. It all went into the food. So that's good. Yeah. Artichoke, right? Yep. Oh, I used to love it. My father would make them. But the great big ones. And I'd sit there with a dish of olive oil over here. And dip them in and you'd pull them out. Just eat the ends. These are cannellini beans. Oh, white beans. You're the one who chose them. White kidney beans. Oh, well, it didn't say that. Just said but white my beans. father, listen, my father, yeah. he had, then you'd get to the center, the core, which these are. Then you would just eat them and dip them in. But there was all these prickly things in the middle. You had to be careful. But I... Oh, yeah? Can, uh, in the middle? Made, not now. When you had the fresh ones, they were stick. Hey, this we're talking about many, many years ago. <laughs> they don't but, throw them that way anymore. Oh, I see. These came from Spain. And I am sure they didn't have them in cans then either. My father never would have bought them. No. They came from Spain? Yeah. Oh, how nice. How nice. Yeah. Now I know those raisins. And your marmalade. I meant to tell you to buy more marmalade. But I had just used a little bit. You know what? What? I wish my fork was this big so I could eat faster. Isn't he nice? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is really nice. Oh. You haven't tasted it, have you? No. It will get... I don't want my lipstick ruined. Well, see, now I don't I mean, care about a... mine. Yeah. When I can remove it all after the program. No, what do you mean? Not to be like Ryan, the grandson. I don't want to brag. Yeah. But I look much better on the TV without smudged lipstick. You everybody. See? Huh? Everybody. Everybody does. does. Well, I don't see you. Well, how about that nice? Have a little bit of this. Yeah, tell me. 
sauce. If you want more sauce. Oh, just sauce. If you want more sauce, it's in the little pitcher over there. And if it's too salty, it's a glass of water. And if it isn't salty, there's the salt. Because it's, uh... Now, I didn't leave anything to chance. All right. Mm. Oh, that's nice. You're right, it's not too sweet, but it is sweet. I didn't use their measurements. I was too busy. You were too busy? Remember, I was so sleepy the last couple of days that I had to rush to get everything ready for today because we have to turn this in tomorrow. I, uh... I, uh, I, uh... You like that? I have to have my strength because I got to edit tonight. Don't All right, I? yep. Go back to the pizza. And the salad. I'm just living on the last. One try? Oh, no, you don't oh, want to smudge it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what have you got anything to say to anybody? Oh, to Arthur. Arthur? Oh, Arthur, yeah. We are looking forward for you coming out of that hospital so that we can hear all your beautiful jokes. I don't get them, but Kirby does. Certainly. Then he repeats them to me, and I still don't get them. Well, he does uh, that because it's funny, because you, well, you want an explanation of some kind, huh? Well, we I don't, we I did don't. an experiment at the All genius right. dinner. All right, what? He said, watch this. Women don't laugh at jokes. So he went over to a table of women next to us, and he told them this joke. And they all looked at him. I don't get it. I don't get it. Was it, you know, was it a, yeah. but it was a funny joke. You oh. see what I mean? See, so you waste mm. time telling jokes to women unless at the same time you're yeah. married to them and we have no choice. <laughs> well, Arthur. I suppose I got them all mad at me you now, but. Up there. He's talking yeah, about yeah. he's going to be in every act of the cabaret that she is. No, I'm not. Not everyone. Well, practically. Practically. So he's, that's what he's talking about. Every Tuesday, if you want to have some fun, go up and see their rehearsals. Up at the center. Yeah. So, and I hear the tickets are almost all sold out, and that's for two nights. That's right. Okay, We're... stop eating. You have to say goodbye. Oh, you do? Oh. Yeah, come on. All good things must come to an end. And I'm not going to wait no. till Passover again to make those nice recipes that, that, that I have. Oh, I know it, and I have so many pizza. more. No, we made pizza on English muffins. Oh, you know, that's no, a kind of, no. And then we made them on something else. Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, this is it. When I make my own dough, they, they come out good, but... Oh, yeah. That's very good. He spent the good. time to do all that. I don't... <laughs> oh, I hope we see you the next time. From Mary's Kitchen. The producers of The Kitchen of Mary Clancy would like to thank Roche Brothers Supermarkets for their sponsorship. answer and you're the big winner in the social security quiz and here we go what will the social security statement tell you about your retirement a the date you should retire b how much you can expect your social security benefits to be or c what you will owe in taxes i know this i remember getting my social security statement in the mail and i know it's b are you absolutely sure Yes, that's my final answer. Well, you're right. Congratulations. Retirement planning is not a game. Watch your mail for your Social Security statement and use it to plan your financial future. Remember, Social Security should only be part, not all, of your retirement income. The future is in your hands.
In RSVP, we don't just want to change the world. We're old enough to know how. I worked with sixth graders. And the teacher told me that her sixth grader scores were much higher than any of the other scores. I was delighted. Show us a problem, a tough one. We have the skills to find real answers. So basically eyes and ears for the deputies. RSVP. We know what it takes to make the world a better place. It takes you. Here you are, Fido, the free consumer action handbook. It's the consumer's new best friend. Call 1-888-8-Pueblo or log on. <laughs>